Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I am super happy to say that I received a delivery. And you'll never guess what it is. That's right, I received an Ampere Time battery. And I know what you're thinking. Uh, hey Jim, that's a pretty small box to be a battery. And you would be correct. So how about we take a look inside and see what we got then. This is a 12 volt, 50 amp hour, lithium iron phosphate ampere time battery. What I plan on doing with this is I want to make a very small, portable uh, DIY solar power generator. And I feel that 50 amp hours is the perfect size and this chemistry makes it so it's gonna be able to recharge and recharge thousands of times. All right. So here's what it looks like. Oh, look at this. This has a little zipper with all the stuff in it. So it's got the product manual. It's got a safety data sheet, a product brochure, an operator guide for beginners, and something just called Ampere Time, which looks like just uh, Ampere Time's uh, business model and their other services and products. All right, it comes with uh, four lugs, two extras, which is always nice, and two plastic caps. Let's go ahead and test the voltage, see what, uh, see what it was delivered at. All right, it was delivered at 13.17 volts. That is perfect. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to charge this thing up to 100%, and then we're gonna do a discharge to make sure that we have our 50 amp hours. While my little friend here is charging, let me give you some uh, information about it. Uh, as you all well know, the, uh, the voltage is 12.8 uh, volts nominal. Uh, it has a charging voltage up to 14.4, uh, give or take 0.2 volts. The uh, maximum continuous wattage load is uh, 640 watts. And the maximum continuous charging and discharging current is 50 amps. The size of the battery is 7.79 inches across. It's 6.69 inches tall, and then it's also 6.53 inches deep. And with this battery, we're looking at 4,000 uh, charge cycles. And when you charge it, you want to charge it with something that's going to charge it at about 10 amps. That would be a 0.2C charge rate. And if you were to buy four of these batteries, you could wire them all up in parallel for up to 200 amp hours in a 12 volts configuration. Or you could have a 48, 50 amp configuration if you wired them all in series. The manual also does talk about if you bought eight of them, you could create a 200 amp hour, 24 volt battery. Um, it doesn't say anywhere about buying 16 to create a 48 volt. 200 amp hour battery uh, but I just wouldn't recommend it so we're gonna go ahead and let this charge all the way up and then we'll do a discharge test to make sure we get our 50 amps here's our ampere time test setup our 50 amp battery is right here it's been uh, resting for about an hour it's connected to this monitor uh, the voltage is at 13.8 so it's nice and full and the battery is going to be powering this 1500 watt inverter which will be plugged into a fan. And that should give us right around 100 watts. So that's a 0.2C test. So we're gonna go ahead and go with that and I'll let you know what the results are in hopefully about five hours. Okay, the test has started. Uh, looks like we're using right around 100 watts. So this is a little less than a 0.2C test, but we're gonna go ahead and go with it and see what our capacity is at the end. See you in five hours. All right, this test is just about over. It's just about to hit 10 volts. 10 volts is where our inverter shuts off. All right, and there it is. Okay, let's turn off the inverter. Uh, 
Yeah, we got 49.6 amp hours for capacity, and I would say that if we had uh, if we had an inverter or if we had something else that could drain it all the way down, we would reach the we would reach the 50 amp hours uh, because we got 636 watt hours, and, and it and the capacity is 640. So in my book, this is a pass for capacity. All right, with all that being said, what do I think of the uh, Ampere Time 50 amp hour battery? You know, uh, I think it's a little powerhouse. This thing, first of all, look at this. I mean, I can just lift it with one hand. It's super light. Uh, I'll be able to charge it and discharge it thousands of times. And this thing is going to be perfect for small applications. Uh, if you're going on a small camping trip or something like that, this can easily be portable to any campsite. And even though this thing is really small, why not make it easier and just have some sort of strap? Well, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you have any questions about how I tested this Ampere Time battery, uh, please let me know in the comments. If you like my content, please uh, consider subscribing. It really helps out. Thank you so much, and have a great day. Bye-bye.